Factoring a product of a quadratic trinomial and a monomial. I have put our uh, steps off to the right and I have chosen three different examples uh, for us to go over. And with these, the first thing that you're going to want to find out is can you factor something out of each term before you even start the AC process? Okay, so we're going to look at this. We've got 10u to the 7th minus 14u to the 6th minus 12u to the 5th. Okay, so out of our big numbers, 10, 14, and 6, we actually can take a 2 out. We can also take a u out, and it looks like the smallest exponent is a 5. Okay, so if we're dividing this out, I'm going to go ahead and write this out so that way we can see. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. 6 minus 5 is just 1u. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6, and these cancel. Okay, so now that we have factored out the greatest common factor of each term, now we can go ahead and start the actual AC process. So, of course, this is A, B, C. So we've got 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. So we need factors of negative 30 that will add to negative 7. And I'm going to, because we're going to go over three examples, I want to kind of save us a little bit of time. So I am putting down our factors, which is 3 times negative 10. So negative 10 plus 3 gets us negative 7. So we're going to split our middle term, and I'm going to put the 10u over here with the 5, and the plus 3u over here with the 6, just to make things easier as we factor. Okay, probably should switch colors. Put our squiggle line. Now on the left side of our squiggle line, we can take a 5u out. So now we've got u minus 2. So of course this cancels and 2 minus 1 is 1. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2 and u and u canceled. Now on the right side we can take a 3 out. So of course the 3's cancel we're left with u and negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Our next step, of course, is to look at both sides, and we factor out that set of parentheses. So we've got u minus 2, and we've got a 5u plus 3. Let me show you where I got the 3 from. Okay, now the last step, I said bring down the GCF. You're like, what? Well, remember, we originally took a 2u to the 5th out. See way up here? So we need to make sure to bring it down. So don't forget. You will kind of growl at yourself if you do. So this whole thing right here will be the answer for that particular example. Another type of problem that you'll have in this topic is this top one. And if you look, the first thing we need to do is see if we can factor something out from each term. Well, number wise, there's nothing we can factor out, but letter wise, we can take x cubed out x cubed ok 
Okay. So that leaves us x squared plus 11x plus 40. Now, with this example, if you can, you would do the AC method, okay? So we need factors of 40 that would get us 11. Well, there's 1 and 40, um, 2 and 20, and so on. Um, However, none of these are going to add up to 11. Okay, so with this example, this actually will not be factorable because it doesn't matter if you go through all of these, even 5 and 8, well, they will never add up to get us 11. So in this case, this is our answer. Okay, the next example that we've got Again, we need to make sure that we check to see if we can factor something out. So out of 4, 6, and 10, well, looks like we can factor a 2 out. And w cubed So we're going to divide this out. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 4 minus 1, or 3 is 1, negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5, and of course these w's cancel. Next, we need to go ahead and we need to find the factors. So a is 2, times negative 5, which gets us negative 10. And we need factors that give us a positive 3. Well, this actually kind of gives us close to 3, except our signs need to be swapped. We need this to be negative and this to be positive. So let's do that. We're going to do negative 2w here, and a positive 5 here. Our squiggle line down the middle. We can take a 2w out over here. So we've got w minus 1. And we can take a 5 out over here, so it's w minus 1. So out of both sides, we can take a w minus 1 out. Scratch these out. And in our second set of parentheses, we got 2w plus 5. I'll show you where we got those. Now, this is where you've got to be very careful. Remember, we factored something out in the beginning, so we need to bring it down. So we're going to bring that 2w cubed down. And that is our whole entire answer.